Hi, you guys. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit today about length of your answers in an interview. And so this is just streamlined off the last video that I just posted. And so how long you answer the question for is really, really critical. And so the best way to look at it is you can always ask if the interviewer wants clarification on any area, you can always sit back and allow them to ask follow-up questions. But what you cannot do is get back lost time if you spend five to ten minutes answering a question. You will lose your audience. People do have a short attention span. All of us can only stay focused in on one concept for a very short period of time. So if you're answering a question, just really be thinking about, okay, how can I frame this and give the core basics and then ask for a follow-up? Just like the tell me about yourself question, you're going to put the information up front and say, hey, Jane, based on this information, is there a specific area that you'd like me to discuss? Or, Jane, I, I like to keep my answers brief and give you a broad overview so that I can allow you to ask follow-up questions and we can really hone in on the area that's most important to you and, and what you most want to hear. I could talk about this project for forever because it was such an amazing experience for me, but I really want to focus it in on your company needs, on the needs of the job. And so typically you're kind of trying to stay in that 30 second or less time frame and of course it depends on the question if you get an, an incredibly complex and open-ended question then you might be in one of those scenarios where you're up at a whiteboard and you know the answer to the question is 30 minutes with follow-up questions from the interviewer with um, kind of going back to them and seeing what they need but typically your answer should be really short and concise and to the point. Uh, just remember the biggest reason for this advice is your interviewer is likely going in with an agenda and they maybe don't need to hit all the aspects of that agenda but they're going to go in with four core questions, 10 core questions, 15 questions that they want to ask and if you spend five to ten minutes answering one question you've thrown them off of their agenda and you're not allowing them to ask all the questions that they need the answers to to determine whether you're the right fit. This is about knowing your audience. Remember, they have an agenda. Allow them to get to that agenda. It's, it's so critical. Um, and I use that word critical a lot uh, and I talk about the importance a lot. But every interviewer is different. Uh, interviewing is so subjective and it's going to be subjective even depending on the day and, and your interviewer's mood. But if you keep your answers short, you really allow them to think about it, ask those follow-up questions, or you can add more context if needed. And sometimes it's not needed. Sometimes you can get to the point in 30 seconds and they think, okay, for Jane that answered the question and, and she can move on to the next question. So brevity, um, I, I'm going to talk about this a lot in my coaching, but Keep your answers short, simple, and then if you need to ask a follow-up question or if you need to ask them if they need clarification, great. And then otherwise, they typically will ask follow-up questions if they want more information. Uh, short and sweet. Hope this helps just like answering the questions. Thanks. Bye.